New developments tonight where there's dramatic new video of an armed robbery at a southeast Fresno smoke shop where more than two dozen shots were fired. Tonight, police have two men in custody. Our Catherine Phillips live outside police headquarters tonight. And Catherine, another suspect remains at large. Yeah, two out of the three people involved in this robbery have been arrested by police. Fresno police say that the store clerks in the smoke shop had guns pointed at them, and then the suspects tried shooting those guns at a locked door as they tried to take off with the money. This surveillance video from the Pipes RS smoke shop shows the moment armed suspects try to shoot open a locked door to take off with stolen money. The Fresno Police Department says 26-year-old Jasmine Hernandez and 34-year-old Adrian Montejano entered the store armed with guns. They approached the store clerks and demanded money. Once they got the money, police say they tried to leave, but the door was locked. When they realized it was locked, police say they started shooting at the door until they ran out of bullets. When that didn't work, police say they tried to grab the keys from employees, but it wouldn't unlock. That's when police say the getaway driver, 27-year-old Jose Montano, who was outside waiting for Hernandez and Montejano, got out of the car and kicked open the glass door. Police didn't release that portion of security footage, but after that, they say the three suspects took off in the car. Now, almost a month later, Fresno police say Hernandez and Montano had been arrested, and Montejano is still on the run. A search of Fresno County jail records show Hernandez and Montano are no longer in custody. Now, we spoke off camera with many of the employees at the smoke shop and other businesses nearby. They say that they were afraid to speak with us on camera out of fear of retaliation for their safety. Now, Fresno police urge anyone with information on the whereabouts of anyone in this case to call police. Live in Fresno, Catherine Phillips, KC24, Local News That Matters.